This nice lady came to me with a history of about a year and a half of episodes of hyperacusis and increased hearing acuity. These episodes would last for 10 minutes or more and happen every day. Uh, when they occurred, I think you told me that your tinnitus, which is always there, would get louder as well. It did. And I'm unbearable at times. So you said that sometimes you would be watching television mm -hmm. and the, um, you would ask your husband, did the, t did the volume just go up? Right, on the TV. And, and he would say no, and I, but I was hearing it. So I you, thought the TV was going up, but it, it was really my ears or... Um, yeah, so you had also um, a long history of uh, many years of episodic head pains that yes. were fortunately very brief mm -hmm. and they could occur in different parts of your head yes. and even in your ear. Yes. Uh -huh. so, so we have the tinnitus, the uh, changing hearing acuity, right. uh, the sound sensitivity, which we call hyperacusis, mm -hmm. and this long history of ear pains and uh, unusual headaches. Yes. And so we treated you with a medicine called neurotriptyline, mm -hmm. thinking that this was an unusual form of migraine that was affecting your auditory system. Mm -hmm. And um, it seems that at a very low dose, you have had a lot of those symptoms almost uh, disappear. Yes. So no more ear pain. No more ear pain. The head pains are almost gone. Head, head pains. Now, if I have anything at all, it's just short, uh, quick headaches. And your um, episodes of volume increase and sound sensitivity are down to a few seconds. If at all, yeah. They're very, very rare now. Now, also, interestingly, you've had some uh, GI issues for many years. Mm -hmm. Like over 30 years. And it uh, seems that, miraculously, your GI symptoms have gone down as well. Yes. It may, it may be that you're having a form of abdominal migraine along with some changes in your uh, hearing mm -hmm. uh, that are caused by connections between the trigeminal nerve, which causes migraine, and the auditory system. This is very interesting to us who study hearing and tinnitus and migraine, and I think a lot of other people may have these kinds of symptoms, but may not realize that they could be helped with migraine treatment. Right. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you for helping.